In this video, we are going to be planting some gloxinia seeds. Um, these seeds I received from Stokes um, Seeds website. I have been looking for gloxinia plants or seeds for a really long time. Um, the way that these came packaged, they, it, they look very legit. Um, they tell me, you know, how many seeds there are in here, um, what year they're packed for and what year they need to be sold by. It, they also come with very detailed instructions about when to plant them um, in order to time the uh, flowers. So yeah, they look very professional. Um, they, they may have been packed and intended for sale for really professional growers. That's at least what it looks like to me. Um, so yes, I have never in the past grown anything from them, but I'm looking forward to seeing how these turn out. I did want to mention that if you're looking for Gloxinia seeds, um, you know, you can get them on eBay and you can also get them on Amazon for a lot more than you can get them um, at the Stoke Seeds website and it's not clear you know where these seeds come from um, and whether you, you're actually going to get what you're paying for. So these again look very legit. Um, country, they tell me what the country of origin is, it's Denmark and the packet, they're packaged in Canada. So yes, this looks good. And now I guess let's plant them and let's see what we actually get. Um, I have not opened one of these. It looks like it comes like in a little vial. And they are supposed to be pelleted. Um, the instructions at least say that in the greenhouse, Gloxinia may be seeded several different times throughout the season. December, January uh, seeding, which is where, where we are at right now. Um, or sowing <laughs> is preferred for June flowers. Um, I just want, I have several different packages so I think I'm going to try one and see what happens and try more later. And do not cover the seeds, just press them into the surface. Use Jiffy Mix as a medium rather than soil um, and then use grow lights for a 15 hour daylight exposure and longer periods of light will cause seedlings to uh, produce premature tubers and then they will fail. I'm going to try to follow the instructions. Uh, the mix that I'm using here, um, I already have some set up here. Um, so essentially I purchased this a long time ago at the flower show, flower and garden show or home and garden show. Uh, they come in these little pellets and when you um, put this in water, this is what you get. So I think this is neat and it's very convenient and I have them here in a takeout container. I have this planted just because I received this. Um, nothing to do with this video, but sorry. Okay. Okay. So let's open one of these and see what's inside. So, yeah, it is a, like a little little vial, and there are several little. I'm gonna try and take a picture of it. Okay, so this is what the pelleted seeds look like. Um, there are supposed to be. 25 seeds per package, so I'm going to probably put two of these or three of these per my little pod here. Okay. One, two, three. It's very helpful that they are white, that the pellet is white, so that I actually know where they are and I can see them easily. Okay, so let's 
So I'll bring you in a little bit closer and I'll show you what I have. Um, you, you can see the seeds, the palleted white seeds in there. Um, so I'm going to put these inside of one of my um, greenhouses here. Like hopefully that's going to provide enough um, humidity for the seedlings and I'm going to of course keep an eye on them